For around $200 US, you too can stay at this five-star resort in Boracay, Philippines and watch sunsets like these. I want to give you all a little tour of Crimson Barakai today. I don't know how many stairs I just walked up. I think Brian said he counted it was like 57 or something like that. That would be a really great workout. So there are, I believe there's about four categories of rooms that you can choose from here at Crimson. Um, there's like the deluxe room, there's a deluxe premiere, there is the suite, and then there's the suite with the sea view. And then of course they have the villas, which I'm really hoping we can get a chance to tour later on. Um, we did do a little run through of our room and we'll definitely share that with you. The big reveal is about to happen. Miss, oh, Miss Nico. Nico's gonna show us to our room. Welcome to your room. Hi. Oh my gosh, Rowan's screaming. Oh no, this is one of those ones where the the lines open up when you open the door. Very nice. Look at him, he's still screaming. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Look at that shower. And a full soaking tub. I miss the tub. Oh, look at that. Okay, so there's a room room here. Ooh, a hat. Yay! This is this is your favorite hotel? I love it. I know I can't put it on yet though. How exciting. You better tell Miss Mike. Miss Nico, thank you. Stand by. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm blown away. Look at the fan. I love that fan. Thank you so much, Miss Nico. I appreciate you. Enjoy your stay. Yes. Have your first set of mini board on us. Ooh. Oh, really? <laughs> the one thing that I love is we always try to run in and grab like the footage of the room when it's like pristine, just cleaned. But when you think about it in reality, the room never stays that way. So now this resort is terraced in a sense. And so there are going to be lots of stairs, but there are also lots of elevators. So it is very easily accessible to anybody, especially families or maybe persons with disabilities who, you know, obviously can't take the stairs, uh, kids with shoulders, things like that. So the grand driveway and entrance, the front desk is so simple, modern, very contemporary styling, but they also incorporate the woods, the rattan, the very Filipino style as well. Hello, good afternoon, hi. <laughs> There's a second tier here that's kind of like a lounge slash waiting area. I'm actually not sure what they use it for, um, but it is like the space that you can come straight into directly from, I guess, the main space of the resort itself. I believe this also connects to some of the other rooms. If you go over this way, these elevators connect to rooms that are further up. Now this place really truly gives you that five star luxury, almost European resort style feels with the lush greenery, the blue windows, the white walls. Each of the buildings also have names. So each tower, or um, like set of rooms is gonna have a different name and they'll show you, they'll give you a map when you check in and you can see where each one of the different towers are. Uh, we are staying in the Indigo Tower, which is right over that way. There's Aqua, there is Blue, there is Navy. I love that, now that I'm kind of thinking about it, the name of the hotel is Crimson and all of the towers have blue theme names. That's pretty awesome. Now we're walking up to Mosaic Restaurant and I just love this walkway. It feels so chic. I could just imagine what it's like when these lights are lit up at night, how beautiful it looks. So here at Mosaic, it's um, almost like a Latin fusion sort of vibe inside. Let's see if we can go in and get a quick peek before they start dinner service. Wow, look at that wine case. What a beautiful bar area. I love this countertop. It reminds me a lot of the countertops I used to have back home. Ooh, what do we have? Latin American so grill. Amer oh, ceviche. ceviche. Oh, empanadas. Yeah, Octopus. Ooh, yum. What's the best seller on the menu overall? 
the starter, we have El Pulpo. Mm -hmm. yes. I saw that, the Tomahawk and Malbec combo. That exactly. sounds like fun. Yes. If a guest would like to um, eat here, would you recommend reservations? Yes, I recommend reservations since we have a lot of walk-in. This is from the island of Bohol. We have a very good friend, Chef Jens, in Bohol. Um, who knows one of the salt makers and yes. we, we would love to go out and meet with the salt maker and learn how they do yes. this. Wow, that restaurant is absolutely amazing looking. Um, I think that Kaysen would love one of those tomahawk steaks that they have in there, but they also had a huge other selection of steaks and I was super excited to see that they have that specialty salt that is only made in Bohol that comes directly from that island. I almost want to go just have a steak for that reason. We'll see. All right, I am gonna walk by over here. This is the Indigo Tower. This is the tower that we're staying in. And right down this walkway is the pool that actually we um, were swimming at this morning. This is the pool that our room actually leads right out to. So our room is right here and we have this beautiful walkway that'll take you straight over to this pool. There's a nice lawn, beautiful sunbed that we got to just chill and relax on while the kids play today and directly across the way you'll see mosaic is right here and then on the other side of mosaic is the cobalt building where there's an identical setup same situation with an infinity pool and this beautiful stunning view of the beachfront in baraka we are so incredibly blessed to be able to stay here at a place like this this is truly five star luxury feels um, just the vibes that you get here it's so calm so relaxing it's actually so quiet as well and that is one of the differences that I've noticed between staying at a station zero hotel versus staying down near station one station two and so on and so forth it is quite busy down there um, and so you can get a lot more noise just a lot more action and traffic if that's what you're looking for or you can be up here where it's a little bit more quiet um, pristine your beachfront is private so it's beautiful we appreciate it um, I like to have that little getaway from just the hustle and bustle of kind of that every day and even that nightlife situation but we will be going out and enjoying some of that nightlife um, hopefully tonight and straight over this way hi Kuya Josh how are you so what do they do out here weddings oh so if people don't want to have the wedding on the beach or if the weather doesn't permit, they are up here. Down, this one goes to the beach. Yes. Let's go check it out. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. All right, heading down to the beach. That was our wonderful lifeguard, by the way. Super huge thanks to Kuya uh, Josh for taking care of and keeping a good eye on the boys while we're out swimming. Uh, beach? All right, <laughs> thank you. Beaches this way. Hello. <laughs> so you're going to see signs, obviously, everywhere that'll tell you where to go. It looks like Saffron Cafe and the spa is that way. And then over here, we have the pool and the beach. I do want to go check out this way because I see something up here in the corner called the Kid, no, the Crim Zone, which is like the kids club. And I'd love to share that with you all. Right over here is the spa and wellness center. You can already smell just the spa scent and feeling of a place like that. I'm not going to go in there. I want to make sure to keep it nice and quiet for the people who are in there, but they do offer a variety of services that you can book through the concierge or you can come in and just do a straight walk-in service here. Right next door is the Crim Zone. This is like the small kids club. We'll see if I can get in here real quick. So here in the Crim Zone, they've got a variety of activities that they do for the kids. So you got to have the parent or the yaya. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody has to be here, adult supervision. And we have uh, and Noriel. Noriel here, the bunny. So they've got drawing things, blocks, all kinds of toys, good things for the kids to do and get out back inside, away from the sun where it's a little more air conditioned and a little more fun and exciting. Is there something extra over here? A ballroom? Oh my, look at this. It's a ball pit and a slide. How fun. I would get on it, but I don't want to break it. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is so cute. If the boys were still small enough, we'd definitely bring them in here. We tried to drop them over here earlier, and they weren't having it. They definitely didn't want to do it. So 
definitely get something good for probably Phoenix. I bet you he would love it in here. All right, now to figure out how to get back downstairs to the beach. More stairs. There is an elevator for fitness since I am going to be taking the stairs. My calves are definitely feeling it. Ate's over there working hard cleaning the stairs. Thank you. <laughs> They do also have some rooms and villas with plunge pools right outside. So hopefully if we do get to tour a villa, you'll get to see that whole plunge pool scenario. I believe I am walking through this space here where all the villas are. They're all private. They have their own private entrances, their own private pools. You can see one right there. There's a private pool in there. Small pool. I kind of like the scenario that we've got with the big infinity pool right outside, even though it is a shared pool. Um, there was nobody else out there today, so it was just us and the kids. So it was wonderful, and then we had our own lifeguard. It's fantastic. So Miss Nika is going to take us this into the this beachfront yeah. villa right, right here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. look at this. Okay. 85 square meters. This is bigger than my condo back in Manila. Right? Your, your studio fits in here. I am super sweaty. It is a little bit warm. Wow, check this out. Shades are going up. And you have your own private little pool right here. And right outside there is the actual main pool. Um, gosh, I can't. These villas are amazing. So these are all private little villas. I don't think they, they're kind of attached. It's a little bit like a duplex style, but um, I think it's still very, very private. Let's go see this bathroom. What? Freestanding tub. Secret room. That's where the business happens. And of course you have your amazing view here. Shower. And then there's another room. <gasps> like, okay, this is the bedroom. Wow. And you wake up to this in the morning. You just wake up in the morning and step out to the little tiny pool where you can hang out. And it's got a nice little shade sail, which is awesome, especially if you have little ones. And then you can step out this way, out to the main pool and the beachfront. I also want to point out that it is surprisingly quiet. Like when we were in this room, I can't hear like the music and stuff that's happening outside at the pool because they've got um, speakers that are right out there at the pool and you can't hear that. So it, that's really nice that it's so quiet because it feels very private, very luxurious, super classy. I love this. We're so glad to have you here with us in Crimson Barakay and hopefully you'd enjoy your stay with us. Please feel free to visit um, our website crimsonhotel.com Barakay for any special promotions. Thank you, see you! And now walking out to the beach. The weather is beautiful right now. It's not too hot, not too cold. It's fantastic. I think I want to go walk out on the beach. Oh, but first, let's see, do we go left? All right, let's go left. I want to share this space over here. Right over here is the giant chessboard. Pirate ship is closed today. Thankfully, I did get some footage of it the other day, so hopefully we'll be able to share that with you. Roro found the way to the pirate ship. Wow, look at that. There's a pirate ship in here. There's a swing and this beautiful balete tree. It is over 100 years old. It is absolutely massive. I do tell myself when I see that tree, I have to say, tabi tabi po, because I do not want to disturb any spirits in that tree. All right, let's walk down another set of stairs to the beach. Soccer court, volleyball. They've got life jackets for the kiddos. When the weather permits, they also allow for a speedboat to pull right up to shore and the speedboat will pick you up and take you out for an excursion for the day. One of the really awesome things about this resort as well is that they actually do shore, like direct to shore drop off. Um, for us, it was low tide and the weather was not permitting the other day. Most guests, um, they will have the 
boat, bring them directly to the shore, directly into the hotel. And I honestly can never get over this water here in Barakai. It is incredible, absolutely amazing. And here it is, Crimson Barakai. Like I said, it is tiered, terraced, tiered. You'll see the villas down here in the front. And then you have one set of rooms here, sort of in the middle area, and then another tier up top. Up top right there, I see where our infinity pool is. This is that event pavilion that I was at earlier. And right over here is the cobalt side with the other infinity pool. And straight up in the middle is the mosaic restaurant. Let's go see Azure Beach Club. That is where we got to hang out and have a fabulous dinner last night for Diana. It was so amazing. We ordered these prawns and they were absolutely massive. That is my word for the weekend. Deliciously grilled. The beach area out here also has umbrellas, chairs, sun beds. There's always a lifeguard out here on duty. They've even got a bucket of toys for the kids to play with. So I think this is remnants of a hole the kids were digging yesterday. And they've got the umbrellas to shade you from the sun, shield you from the rain. Hi Mel, how are you? You got buco today. We've got Encanto today too. San Miguel, this is different. What is Pedro? Is that a Filipino beer? Laguna, oh, okay. Have it up here right now. Where's the beer pong table? Oh, it's over here. I walked right past it. They've got a beer pong table out here. See, this is where I need to get my Encanto and come play a game. So at Azure, you have the option of snacking out here at one of these cabanas. They've got seating here as well. And then inside is the actual restaurant itself. Right over here next to Azure is a kid's pool, which is really awesome. It is small, it is shaded, and they do kids activities out here. So when there's like water activities for the kids, they'll bring the kids out from the crim zone or they'll kind of send like an invitation. And then out here at the main pool, which is huge. There's so much space, so many chairs, very open. They've got water toys. They've even got a basketball court. Kuya had a little mishap with the basketball hoop yesterday. He thought he could slam dunk and he brought the whole thing down on him. Thankfully he's okay, but we reminded him that you can't slam dunk on one of those things. So I am now gonna walk back up this way towards the Saffron Cafe, almost back to where we started. There's a couple more things I wanna share. More stairs, 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 stairs. I told you all I was gonna show you what a memory making room looks like. This is not the clean version. This is what the room looks like once it's been lived in a little bit. We are semi-messy. I am a bed maker. I insist on making the bed even if we're at a hotel and make the bed every single day. It's very important to me. That's the view we get to wake up to. Hello! I found a bunso! You ready to go finish walking with mommy? I'll try. All right, let's go. I made the LVD do down. <laughs> Open sesame. Oh, hello. All right, let's walk over here. Oh, look at this painting, it's so fabulous. I feel like you, I'm seeing a man here and you, you usually see the woman figure. So I, I love that oh, we've got yeah. the man figure there, right? That's fantastic. These are beautiful paintings. This is Mr. Govinda, he's the artist in residence here. <gasps> Bunso, you wanna play some ping pong? All right, can I get a paddle? First, I want to go in here and check out this gym. Ooh, it smells so clean in here. Ate's in here cleaning. Look at this, we've got ellipticals, treadmills, medicine balls, bikes, a bunch of free weights. Ooh. See, I did work with the kids this morning in the pool, pretty much, but let's see. Oh yeah, we'll go like this. Mm. Look at those biceps. Get it, girl. It's pretty awesome. And they've got a TV going, too. This is a really nice, very cable machine. This gym is huge. It's actually better than the one at my condo, huh? Let's go play some ping pong and basketball. Yep. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. All right, ball. Oh, my. 
mommy made it. Yay. Did you see that? You don't even care? <laughs> you don't got hoops like mommy. Let's go. Anokoba. Yeah. <laughs> They've even got this beautiful ballroom facility. Look at these chandeliers. Bunso. Library. Let's go. Well, folks, I started this tour with my hair curled, non-sweaty, and it's changed a little bit since then, all that walking in the stairs. But here's this beautiful little library area that they've got in here. Oh, it's so nice and cool. Nicely air-conditioned. This is really cool. Oh, you've even got a little business center. You can have a presentation of sorts. This is awesome. And they have all the Harry Potter series in here. This is really cool. I'd have a business meeting in here, honestly. Like if I was trying to, to, to close a deal, you bring them here, have your meeting in here, go out, celebrate with some giant steaks at Mosaic, Tomahawk, and Malbec. Sounds like a good day to me. Let's roll out, Boonsil. All right, we are back to where we started at the large staircase. I hope you enjoyed that quick tour of this amazing five-star luxurious resort hotel here in Boracay. It's one of three, only at Station Zero. Check them out. A special thanks to Miss Nico and the rest of the staff here at Crimson for such a memorable stay. Check out the details below to book your stay at this amazing resort. Thanks for watching. Salamat po and ingat till next time.